Hello everyone, welcome to Dakshna e Classroom program and this is a solution video for exam NCT 09 for NEET student for physics. So let's continue here. So here I have question number one. So we are moving in sequence. But it is an integration problem actually. Integration of one to three. So x square x cube plus two x by this is x square plus two integral dx. So from here I am taking three x common integral this is cancelling out so simply x dx integral of that is x square by two limit one to three this is the nine minus one by two that's equal to four the answer actually the answer number one next question number two so it's a dielectric slab of thickness d by two and uh, dielectric constant two is inserted in a capacitor as shown in the figure the capacitor connected to a 10 volt battery emf then the potential difference between the two surfaces A and B of the electric slab. Capacitor this dielectric slab, electric constant 2, thickness B by 2, total D connected to the battery of 10 volt. So now see electric field here, this difference is let's say electric field is E, then here can be written electric field is E by 2. This this happens in the D by 2, so E into D by 2 into the difference plus across this electric field is E by 2 so I present D by 2 raised to this this total must be equal to 10 this implies 3 E by D by 4 is equal to 10 E by 4 equal to this is 3 and this is the actual raised to this D A B and that is our answer natural is 10 by 3 volts that's answer number 4 question number 3 so here a question number 3 the energy of EM wave is given by 49.5 meters per minus 20 zoom find its wavelength. So energy is 49.5 meters per minus 20 zoom and C by lambda. This implies lambda is equal to and C divided by 49.5 meters per minus 20 zoom. Substituting everything and solving, we are getting lambda is equal to 400 or 4000 in this term. That's actually the answer number one. Question number four. Particle described a horizontal circuit in a cubical or uh, conical funnel whose inner surface is a smooth with a speed of 0.5 meter uh, per second. What is the height of the plane of circle from vertex of the funnel? Uh, so this is described like this. Here it is a particle, this will be the boundary uh, sign actually. And this, this is angle theta, this will be an angle theta, this is also theta, this is let's say n cos theta this is n sin theta so mg and this is provided the by centrifugal force m t squared by r this is r and here we can write so tan theta this is sin theta where it's mg so n sin theta by n cos theta it's mg by m v squared into r m and gets cancelled and so it's tan theta is equal to g r by v square this is tan theta is equal to what r by h this implies h is equal to it gets cancelled as equal to v square by g that's matching with ops v square by g and substituting the values of v and g we get this to be 2.5 cm 2.5 centimeter matching with option number 4 next question number 5 The vehicle is moving with a velocity v on a curved road of width v and radius of the curve set capital R in counteracting the centrifugal force of the vehicle. The difference in elevation required in between the outer and inner as of the road is this is a road width v. This difference in elevation h. Let's say this is the vehicle moving radius. This is theta. So v. Okay, this will be also theta normal Davidson. So again, we can write vehicle V here and see. So it's n sine theta is equal to m v squared by r, n cos theta is equal to m g, tan theta is equal to v squared by r g, and that is also equal to h by v. And what it's asking is h elevation, so this is equal to multiplied by v. Is the answer matching with option number one. Next question number six. 
taking into account the significant figure in the product of 109, 109 into 0 0.6107. You don't have to even multiply it because all the answers are same. 67.0467. So definitely multiplication will be 67 plus something. Right? Now you just need to check because here least number of significant figures are four. So the final answer must be having only four significant figures. And according to that, you can simply uh, uh, take the answer that will match the answer number three. Number seven. So a body like accelerating axis and the phase difference between the acceleration and the displacement. So x displacement x is equal to a sine of omega t and this acceleration is equal to minus a omega square is equal to sine of omega t and this can be written as minus one so plus five so phase difference is equal to simply five that's as to option number three next question number eight coil is having an area of two meter per second two meter square is uh, placed in a magnetic field which changes from one power to four power meter square in two seconds the emf reduces so emf is the rate of change of plus so e m f delta i i t delta i area is the change in t so area is two change in t is four minus one divided by t two so it's coming out to three e four is the answer matching with option number two question number nine mass of body measured by the physical balance in a lift at rest is found to be m if the lift is accelerated going up with an acceleration a is mass you must be remembering that mass is not depending on the acceleration weight depend but if not mass it will be still same so my question number has to be answer number three next question number ten here uh, in an oscillating lc circuit the maximum charge of that is q so the energy is q squared by 2c and now it's saying the charge of the capacitor when the energy is stored equally between the electric and magnetic field so means energy stored between the electric field will be half of this equally and this is when the charge at that moment is q squared by some q squared so it will be 2c now cancelling if this implies small q is more capital q by two two that's match with option number three next question number eleven okay in the circuit solar figure current measured by the ammeter is so here you can see actually let's say current measured a uh, current is i then i can write current uh, what is the drop across resistor is i to r across volt uh, inductor and capacitor is given 60 and 40 so we can write actually i r this is this uh, resistor square plus i x uh, c minus i x l this is potential difference across capacitor inductor difference square is equal to net resource square that's equal to basically 50 and this is 600 minus 60 that's 40 square plus i into r whole square plus this equal to 50 square solving i r is equal to 30 r is 10 so i is equal to 3 ampere this is the this will be a reading of the end charge of next question number 12 bomb initially at rest explode by itself into three equal mass fragments the velocities of the two fragments are mentioned the velocity of the third fragment so let's say m into mass is m velocity momentum dr plus 2j plus m second particle minus i minus 4j plus m let's say velocity v equal to zero because that momentum must be zero and it's cancelled out this is 3i minus i is 2i 2j minus 4j 2j plus v equal to 0 this v is minus 2i plus 2j as the option number such as option number 3 next question number 13 a ray of light is incident on the surface of the glass plate at an angle of incidence equal to Brewster's angle phi if you represent the refractive index of the glass with respect to the air then angle between refracted and refracted rays it's a theoretical uh, memory based question if light is incident at Brewster's angle then angle between reflected and refracted ray is always 90 degree that's matching with also number 3 question number 14 a person is placed a screen is placed which is anywhere from a single slit which is illuminated with 600 angstrom light in the distance between the first and uh, 
first and third variable with the refractive pattern is the of the width of this slit is. Next width of this slit is B. And we know that the position of first minimum is B to the lambda capital B by B. Position of third is B lambda capital B by D is selected by B. The separation x b minus this is 2 lambda capital B by B. And this is 2. Lambda is 6000. Square minus square minus n into capital B is 50 centimeters 0.5 divided by D and this is given as 3 to the square minus 3. This is the MM. Solving here with D is coming out in 0.2 mm. This is the answer which will be false number 2. Question number 15. Spherical liquid drop of radius r is divided into 8 equal drop lengths. Surface density is then worked on in this process. So by conserving volume, 8 into 4 by 3 pi small r cube is equal to 4 by 3 pi into capital R cube. This implies small r is equal to capital R by 2. So radius of the small drop will be r by 2. Change in surface area 8 into 4 pi into r square. So this will be r square by 4 minus 4 pi r square multiplied by t will be the work done that will be equal to change in energy so this is coming out to be 4 to this cancel 8 minus 4 that's going to be 4 pi r square into 3 will be change in energy or work done that's going to be loss of the 3 next question number 16 which of the following diagram does not represent a streamline flow in the streamline flow the never two streamlines crosses or cut each other that's not possible or like uh, not Representing so that means four thousand. Next question number seventeen. Figure so the sinus of the wave at a given instant, which points are in same phase? In same phase, the two points must have a least separation of lambda. So we can check A and B not, B and C not, B and D also not, but C and E you can check it's exactly lambda. So that will be that answer. That will answer number four. Next question number eighteen. Projectile is fixed, actually it's fired at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal such that vertical component of its initial velocity, so means u sine 30 degree is equal to 80 and the horizontal velocity will be equal to u cos 30 degree. So basically from here we can say u is equal to uh, projectile is fired at 30 degree to the horizontal such that vertical component of its initial velocity, that's correct. So this implies u is equal to 160 meter per second. Then u cos theta is u horizontal is equal to 80 root 3 meter per second. We got this. Find the approximate find approximately the velocity of the projectile at time, time t by 4. So first we need to get time time to 2u sin theta. 2u sin theta means 80 divided by g. That's basically 16 second. T by 4 means it's 4 second. At 4 second, this velocity is going to remain same. d y will be equal to this 80 minus g. t. g is 10 to 4. That's basically 40. So net velocity will be equal to over this square plus that square. So d is equal to root over 40 square plus 18 root 3 whole square. So we are going to be coming out to be 145 meter per second. So as I mentioned, it also number. That's question number 18. Let me erase the board for next question number 19. Okay, so next question number 19. Particle has initial velocity 2 i cap plus 3 j cap and acceleration 0 0.2 i 3 i cap plus 2 0.2 j cap. The magnitude of velocity after 10 seconds. Question number 19. So b will be equal to u bar plus a to b bar. Simply it's 2 i cap plus 3 z cap plus 10 into 0 0.3 i cap plus 2.2 z cap. That's going to be out to 2 plus 3 is basically 5 i cap. 3 plus 2 is 5 z cap. So the answer has equal to 5 root 2 in the first sampling. Imagine with option number 4 is basically unit. Question number 20. Particle at principle at a point P due to an electric dipole is given by 1.8 into 10 to the power 5 volt. If P is 
and the distance of which is angular from the point from center O of the dipole and if OP take an angle of 60 degree with the positive side of axial line of the dipole, what is the moment of the dipole? Potential 1.3 root of I O that's equal K P cos theta by R square K 9 to the power 9 P cos 60 divided by R 0 0.5 gram whole square. Solving it from there, we are getting P is going to be 10 to minus 5 centimeters per gram meter. Answer is going to be number 4. Question number 21. Five charges of equal magnitude placed at corner of regular polygon, polygon of side A, post on Q0, which is placed at the center O. This question can be solved in this manner actually. So, it everywhere is basically placed stars this plus B, Q plus Q plus B, Q0, and this is minus Q. So, what we are doing is actually making it plus Q and minus Q. This now this of minus symmetrical place and portion is zero. We have to only to this, and this is equal to two a q q by this separation, which is the r r square, and we get back to force on this side. So it will be from o to e, so that's equal to a to two not by r square around o e that's equal to r square minus two. Next question number twenty two. Orbital velocity of an object of mass m is proportional to the orbital velocity over g m by r, and that's not depending on m naught, so it's basically m power zero. That's magic of one. Three. For the satellite, as the velocity is eleven kilometer per second, if the satellite is launched at an angle sixty degree with the vertical, as the velocity, so as the velocity is not depending on the angle of launching. So that will be still the same as my class number one. Question number 24. Okay, compose a rod comprising two rods of mass m and two m each of length l is equal to one meter as well as bigger. Assuming omega to time is equal per second, m is equal to one meter, then we have to do the problem with rod. So, problem is the problem. This is the system. So, we did about this. M, l, this is 2m, and l is still l. Moment of energy net. For this, m l square by three. For this, for this, I say m l square by twelve plus m into l l plus l by two three l by two whole square into omega square by two. This is the number of energy. Substituting and solving everything, we are getting this number of energy is two fifty two. That will be option number three. Next question number twenty five. Disc of mass 40 kg and 3 meter radius rotate about its axis with a angular speed of 100 radian per second. What is the angular momentum of the disc around its axis? Angular momentum L is equal to I to omega. I is m r square by 2 into omega. Everything is given, just substitute and solve. It's going to be 9 and 1000 joule centi. Next, we will ask number 2. Question number 26. Assuming human pupil to have a radius of 0.25 cm and comfortable view of the distance of 25 cm, the minimum is separated between the of two objects that human eye can resolve at 500 nm wavelength is. So, it means uh, this is sacrosanctuary wide and this is 45 cm and so in theta. Now we can write actually n theta which is equal to this is y by 25. And uh, this is uh, also the resolving angle that's coming out of 1.22 into two, 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 lambda by this uh, capital V that's used by 25 centimeter. So this is its answer. So y is simply okay. Okay, assuming human. Alright. Capital D is actually diameter. Okay, now. Capital D fits the diameter of pupil because to lens we consider everything in pupil of microscope, but it is the diameter of that lens in the flex and study in the resolving power. So it will be basically 0 0.5 to 5 centimeter, it will be 0 0.5 centimeter. Then substituting and solving this in the separation, we are getting y is equal to coming out to 30.5 micrometer and 0.4. 
were substituted and solved this part. Question number one, T is seven. Magnitude of dispersive power of two lenses are 0 0.2, 0 0.24, and 0 0.036, and focal length of length for P for average of three combination. So we know the actual condition for average of three omega 1 by F1 minus omega 2 by F2, omega 1, omega 2, omega 1. So this implies F1 by F2 is equal to omega minus omega 1 by omega 2. This is F1 by F2 is equal to minus omega 1. 0 0.024, 0 0.036, minus 2 by 3. The ratio must be in this manner. Now we can check the available focal lengths. 30, 40, that's not in this ratio. So 30 centimeters minus 40 centimeters, 45 centimeters, like I can see. So we must have lost number 2, number 28. Okay. What must be A for condition of no emergence? So here you can see the no TIR, it's like uh, from rear to denser, in that case no TIR, so that's number 2, question number 29. Magnetic needle suspended parallel to magnetic field required to do two, three joule of work to turn a proof 60 degree. So the work done is MD into cos 60 degree minus initial x cos 0 and that's given by the root 3. Solving is coming out to be MD is equal to root 3. And it's nice to ask me the tau needed to maintain the needle in this position. So tau is equal to m cross d. It's m d into sine 60 degree. And the value is 2 root 3 sine 60 root 3 by 2 root this is 3 root and is given. That's my answer of sigma 4. Question number 30. Okay, so for transistor circuit, so in the figure in beta is given as 100 volts. It's like transistor circuit, like this is the this, 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 and uh, this. this, C, E, D, E. And this is 18 volt, this is 5 volt, this is 8.6 kilo volt, and that's 100 volt. Okay, now what it's asking is that find the value of VCE will be. VCE will be. So we can write KVL in this loop, KVL in this loop. KVL in this loop, then we will get actually like uh, 5 minus 8.6 tennis power 3 into IB minus this that is V E E 0 0.7 equal to 0 solving it we are getting IB is equal to basically 0 0.5 milli ampere beta is equal to IC upon IB beta 100 so IC is equal to 100 into IB so IC is equal to basically 15 Ampere. Now, applying KVL here, it's 18 minus 100 IC minus VCE. IC we already got from here, substitute this is equal to 0, solving VCE is going to be 13 over to the answer and I'm going to be number 3. Next question number 31. Okay, in the given circuit, calculate voltage across AB. So here you can see first uh, like A and B, the diode between A and B forward bias, B and the next one will be like reverse bias will be uh, removed. So this will be like, circuit will be like this. And by three. So C, C, A, B. This diode is basically reverse bias is removed like this. So if same uh, capacitor, so it will be like tensile difference will be simply divided equally. So that will be equal to A plus A and B. It will be 30 volt times with ox number 3. Next question number 32. The truth table for the gate zone in the figure will be gate zone in the figure. This one. This one. We 
is say a three. This is then a dot a naught a dot a naught. So this is a naught b dot b naught b naught a naught plus b naught naught. That's coming out to be this way a naught naught dot b naught naught. That's going to be a naught b. This is the AND gauge. Now we can check the Stokes table for AND gauge. So it's matching with box number four. So four is the character of the table. Next question number thirty three. In a potentiometer experiment, the balancing with the cell is at a length of 240 cm. On sending the cell with a resistance of 2 ohm, balancing length becomes 120 cm. The internal resistance is a standard problem. So, the problem is internal resistance is given by capital R multiplied by initial balancing length final minus 1. So, we will send out to be this way R is equal to 4. Matching with box number 1, internal resistance. Question number 34. Okay, the equivalent circuit are uh, equal distance between A and B of the circuit. Let me tell you the average for, for this type of problem. This 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 A, this B, seven, six, three, four. So now you can see. All these points are same, so let me mark it C. Now you just consider points A, B, C. Let's simplify it. A, C, 7 ohm. A, this is also C, but this is very B, C. So A and C, 7 ohm, 7 ohm, and 3 ohm. Both in parallel. A, 7, 3. Now B and C six, D and C four. Six four. Parallel parallel series simplify it solving it's going out to be four point five ohm R equal and that's much the answer number one. So next question number thirty five the answer is question number thirty five actually. This is question number 35 and the uh, above one, okay, 33. This is 34. I think I did some mistake in counting. This is 34. 33 is that one. And 32 is this one, diode. And 30. What is this? I can have some mistake in counting. Alright. Okay, I think it's actually question number 30. So let me just uh, solve that 30 and then let me erase the whole first. Okay, so next question number 30, which I've missed. Here it's saying circular oil carrying a current. Produces magnetic field B naught at its center, that's equal to B naught into I by 2R. The coil is now rewound so as to have three turns and the same current is passed through it. So L is 2 pi R initially. Now L can be same but three turns 2 pi into R times this implies R minus is this equal to this basically initially R is L by 2 pi now it's L by 6 pi that means it's r by 3. Next number of turns is also 3. So b is equal to mu naught into i say 2 into r prime that's r by 3 into the number of turns 3 so it's basically 9 mu naught that's equal to as it was number 2. Next question is 36 because we discussed up to 35. So question number 36 wire has non-uniform cross section and an area as shown in the figure study a pipe flow through it which one of the following statement is correct so i is equal to n e a b d i is value now what something i is same because same current will be flowing b d you can say i by n e a 
this, this, this many constant only a is inversely proportional. So the drift speed decreases. You can see as area increases. Right to the constant number three, thirty-seven. Refrigerator work between temperatures of minus ten degrees Celsius. That's equal to D one. That's equal to two sixty-three Kelvin. And uh, this is T two. We take this uh, lower temperature. And T one that's equal to twenty-seven. That's equal to twenty-seven degrees Celsius. That's equal to three hundred Kelvin. So now C O P is given by T one by which is equal to T uh, two by T one minus T two. That is basically T two three hundred two sixty-three by three hundred minus two sixty-three. Solving it comes out to seven point one. That's answer is box number one. Question number thirty-eight. The volume V of a lead gas varies with its temperature T, as shown in the figure. The ratio of the work done by the gas to that heat absorbed by it when it undergoes a change from the state of A to B. So it's V T gram streamline passing through horizon means the process of A T equal to constant. In this process, Q is equal to M C T delta T. And W is given by N R delta T. The ratio of ratio of work done W by Q is N C T delta T. So its answer is R by C T. And what is diagonal here? So C T is equal to five by two plus one into R. That's basically seven by two R. Substituting it here, it's going to be given by seven is the ratio. That's going to be passed on by Oh, next question number thirty-nine. Molar heat capacity at constant volume of oxygen gas at STP is nearly five R by two. When it approaches seven R by two, as temperature is increased, this happens because at higher temperature oxygen becomes triatomic. No oxygen does not behave as an ideal gas. No oxygen molecule rotates more rigorously. No. Vigorously, oxygen molecules start vibrating because at higher temperature, vibrational degree of freedom also added. That's why. So it will be that answer for the next question of forty. Calculate the amount of heat radiated per second by a body of surface area ten centimeters square Kelvin per kilogram in a room at temperature twenty seven degrees Celsius. The emissivity of the surface is zero point eight and sigma is six meters square minus h. We know actually rate of heat sigma e a Our force of gravity has been six centimeters per minus eight e zero point eight area ten centimeter square minus four into t twenty seven t hundred power four. This is the emissivity and solving it is going to be basically zero point three nine in the rate of heat dropped. Matching with option number three. Next question number forty one. Steam at 100 degrees Celsius added slowly to 1400 gram of water at 60 degrees Celsius until the temperature of the water is reached to 80 degrees Celsius. So, amount we require to raise the temperature of 1400 gram of water, M C is one into delta T, 80 minus 60 plus 64. This heat must be coming from steam. So, one is the steam getting converted to water and then cooling. So, let's say mass is M. And specific uh, that the heat is 540 Kelvin, and this is 1 Kelvin, and plus cooling that is M1 into 100 to 80 is 20. This is the reason simplifying and solving the equation. M is going to be 160, 160 gram. This is the answer matching with option number 3. Next question number 42. Okay, fossil bond has ten, uh, carbon 14 and 12 ratio of 1 by 16. C 14 by C 12, 1 by 16. 1, this is n by n naught, that's equal to 1 by 2 power 4. That means it's 4 half light. Now, of that in living animal bone, if half life of carbon 14 is 5, 7, 3, 0. A is of the fossil bone, so A is will be simply equal to 4 into uh, 5, 7, 3, 0, that's 2, 2, 9, 2, 0. 
Yes, I think it's box number three. Question number forty-three. Element which has a alpha X-ray line of one by eight angstrom is periodically one by its length of three R by four into Z minus one into square for a alpha line. This is given as one point eight newton square minus ten. R and all substituting the values solving for z they are z minus 1 is equal to 26 this implies z is equal to 27 to the element match that solve that's forward match the box number 1 next question number 44 which of the following is correct Lyman series is continuous spectrum no partial series is, is a line spectrum in infrared reason yes theoretical you should remember it Barmer series is a line spectrum in ultraviolet. No, the spectral series formula can be derived from the other four formula as an atom with its So, I just this to the question number 45. The correct curve between intensity of scattering high and angle of diffraction phi in Dallas and Zemmer. It's again theoretical, now we have a question that should be like matching with option number one. So, it's like this is all about two people and Z and Q and Q and Q.